Hello everyone, so finally here's uh, the English version of the tutorial about how to connect your Wiimote to your Mac and send MIDI or other signals uh, through to Ableton. Right, um, so this is for Mac users only, There is uh, there are other software solutions out there for Windows users, maybe you should try to go to a homepage uh, wejdj.com um, there are a lot of resources about that for Windows users so this is the Mac version okay so um, let me give you a quick overview what's happening um, technically here okay so what we have here is a little map of how this works um, all right uh, via Bluetooth, you are sending from your Wiimote uh, signals to your Mac. Inside your Mac, uh, you need a software called Oscillator or Oscillator, uh, which is defining, or you can define inside here in, in the software, the signals uh, into MIDI. And you can name and uh, create different paths and different. Uh, notes and everything I will show you in a minute and then the MIDI <coughs> is going into Ableton or other music software or other software which uh, understands MIDI uh, it could be VJ software or anything which is uh, MIDI is uh, yeah usable with MIDI okay okay so obviously the first step is to get the software oscillator uh, which you're gonna get from uh, www.oscillator.net um, you can download a trial um, a free version but uh, the software is quite cheap as well um, there's a recommended price for 29 euros but um, you are asked to pay at least 14 euros so um, I don't know how much that is in the US dollar at the moment or in pound uh, it's still cheap right okay um, so obviously I downloaded the software already and installed it um, I just gonna open it up so here it is um, um, <clears throat> what you need to do first it says or it just said down at the bottom here uh, press 1 and 2 button 1 and 2 on your remote that's what I'm doing now one and two, hold it down, and then the Wii mode connects to your computer. Yeah. Um, what's happening next is that all the signals which are coming in um, are shown here. So if I press button A now on my Wii mode, it will appear there. Yeah. If I press it again, it will show up, or it will show me. Um, with this yellow, with the button getting yellow, it shows me that the signal is coming in when I'm pressing. Um, okay, what I need to do next is I need to define the signal. Um, so I need to define the signal which is going to send out through pressing the A button now. So I go to event type and I go down to MIDI note and now I define a value for this MIDI note alright I have to click on the arrows here and I'm gonna define it as C and C minus 2 right send on channel 1 so so far um, all I've done is I press the button it shows up here, I press the button A, it shows up here and then I define it as a MIDI note and when I press it now you can see that the light which is flashing is not yellow anymore, it's getting green which means it's a defined signal now. Okay so the next thing you need to do is you need to open up live or the other music software you're using um, and in Ableton Live uh, you need to 
check your preferences first, which we're gonna do now. Um, preferences called Voreinstellung in German. Um, so we are here, and you input under the MIDI sync button, which is called OS Coolator Out. Yeah, that's our input source for the MIDI signal which is now coming from Oscillator and which you need to turn the track and the remote on. Yeah? Okay, let me zoom out. Close the preferences. And now we just need to sync the MIDI note which is which is gonna be sent by pressing the A button on the Wii mode. Um, we just need to sync this with Ableton, uh, which we're gonna do by pressing MIDI. And I'm gonna choose this clip and press the A button on my Wii mode. And now it's gonna sync, or the start point is synced to my A button on the Wii mode. I'm gonna leave the MIDI configuration set and now when I'm pressing the A button on my Wii mode the clip's gonna start. Yeah, and it is, but you can't hear the sound because um, I switched it off. <laughs> nice one. Okay. So let me turn on the volume. Okay, so I'm gonna press the A button. And I'm gonna press it again, just to show you. I can start it again, next bar. Okay, so far. So I hope uh, that gave you an idea um, of how to use uh, the Wiimote with your Mac and Ableton Live. Uh, obviously there are a lot of opportunities to uh, use the Wii mode for effects and um, I made some tutorials on how to use it with beat repeat and uh, different effects so um, they are in German only and I don't know when I will find the time to do English versions I hope soon but I don't got much free time on my hands at the moment so it could take uh, a couple of weeks um, please just keep commenting or questioning or write me questions or mails or stuff like this to uh, if you got any questions or if you if you think I should explain stuff differently or just give me some feedback it's really motivating for uh, doing the stuff and to develop how to do it better okay take care bye